Prea AI's new video generation tool is amazing. But what have people created with it so far? What makes it different and how can you use it to create some stunning visuals? I'll push it to the limits and show you everything you need to know. So first, we're gonna check out some examples of what you can create with this. First, I wanna show you some absolutely amazing examples so you can figure out what you might wanna do with this tool. This first example is changing between different landmarks across the world, and I just love how they're changing between each other. This one might freak you out a little bit. <laughs> I imagine this being like a Netflix intro or something like that. The next one looks like this, where there's like a clone of two different faces and then some light. This might be one of the smoothest one that I've seen that goes into cosmos and then into shrooms. Well, it's very trippy how this is actually made. And then we loop again and again, and it's just so smooth. Here is a different style where it's more robotic and it actually manages to nail this style as well. And yeah, can I say more than this is amazing? A different style here that is very trippy and it kind of gets all the textures correct. The brain is warping in all these different... This may be one of the coolest transitions I've seen. Look at this. Wow, what a reveal shot of this woman coming in and going close up as well and transitioning again into this beautiful like balloon-like color smoke but how can we create some of our own? If you go to Crea AI, they now have a video tab that you can click on and it looks like this. I got access to this with a private code early because I contacted Crea AI on Twitter and I recommend you do the same if you want early access. So let's begin by clicking start. And as you can see, they have a little tutorial, add keyframes, add text prompt, and as you can see, you can slide these over. This is what I'm gonna show you. Then you generate the video and they kind of warp into each other. This smoke to face as well or mushroom into a frog. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. And the model they're actually using is one of my favorite ones, which is called Animate Diff. Now, this was very hard to use if you wanna do it on your own, but luckily, Korea AI has done it for us, so it's actually easy to do. Now that we're on the inside, you can actually see that this is the keyframes of this colorful samurai on black background, and then transitioning into the Tengu mask on black background. So I'm just gonna delete everything, and then I'll click on the add keyframe. Here I can click and upload any image and I kind of want to try with my realistic images because I haven't seen that before. I'll try this image. I'll add another keyframe of this image and maybe another one of this image. I'll actually put this one in the middle and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I'll add a text prompt here in the bottom of Norwegian man with sunglasses at the seaside. Pull it out over here. Norwegian man sitting in a yellow cafe. And I guess the last one is very similar. Norwegian man walking towards the camera. Now I'll just extend this. And you can also see here in the bottom, we have clip duration. We can extend it. So I think I'm gonna try to make it a little longer, like four seconds and drag these out a bit. I kind of want to add more things, but let's just try this for now. They do have different render styles like film, render, animation, and experimental. I'm gonna keep it on film for now and generate. And in just a couple of seconds, you can actually see we get this amazing animation swapping from image to image. That's incredible. And now it's actually fully rendered and this is how it looks like, wow. I've never seen anything like this. I wish I prompted hair in a bun cause that would probably be even cooler, but that is just incredible. I'm gonna try more of my personal pictures. 
I built an AI chatbot to sell me this pen. As you can see, this company, jetpens.com, have no chatbot. Look at how many pens that they're missing out on selling. Look, I'll just copy their link, go to chatling.ai and click on knowledge base, paste the URL, almost a thousand pages is going to be scraped with the knowledge go to the builder make a quick workflow that basically just answers their questions with ai and if they say no we just try to capture their email and here's how it looks like hey there are you interested in a pen yes what type of pen are you looking for? What's the most expensive pen you have? The most expensive pen we have is the Pilot Vanishing Point Fountain Pen. That is a $850 pen. Find more about it here. And it actually sends a link. And here it is. Man, this AI just sold me a pen. Make your own chatbot by clicking the link in the description down below and testing out chatlink.ai. Thanks to Chatling AI for sponsoring this section of the video. I'm gonna try more of my personal pictures in a second because I think most people will actually use it on their own images, I think. And also text animation would be really cool. But in test number two, which are these Renaissance type images turning into zoos. And it seems like if you don't wanna upload, you can just generate here in the chat. So let's do God Zeus close up full body with lightning in the back ground wearing a robe on a blue day actually let's just do his face just like that and it generated for us in the bottom i want him to look into the camera there we go on a sunny there we go hey this image generation is actually really good i'll add some text prompts here zeus close up a face and extend it to the end and this time we'll actually click on the experimental because I really like to experiment and generate. I'll show you here in real time how fast it actually happens. It actually just took me one minute to get this draft here. Or it's actually completely finished. So wow, an exploding Renaissance painting with gods and he's flying and then coming closer. Jeez. Do you think that you could use this on some of your work? I definitely think so, and especially when it comes to logo animation. I tried before to use Animate Diff, which is the model that they're using here, to create an AI Andy logo. But actually trying to use Animate Diff is an extremely hard thing to do inside of Comfy UI, at least for me. But let's see if we can actually do it now. I'll just try to prompt it, text AI Andy, and it seems like it's not so good at text. So let's go to ChatGPT, use the Dolly custom GPT because it's better. And I'll prompt it, just make the text AI Andy in the style of futuristic tech, generate an image of the text AI Andy. And here we have two different variations. Actually, I don't like this style, so I'll just make a new prompt. <laughs> me and spelling yeah look at this ai andy i like this generation but i'm just gonna try one more generation save and submit and we almost got ai andy here as well i'll try it with this one as well just to see two different variations so i'll download them drag them in here just like that and i'll try to generate something that isn't the text so kind of just a background here you can see my prompt here if you want to. Hey, that looks exactly like what I want. I'm gonna download this one and maybe even both. I'll put the AI Andy in the middle, add the first image and the second image. And I kind of want the AI Andy to be the longest part. So I'll try to make the text prompt here, really long text of AI Andy. And I'll make these really short at the end and beginning here. But how is this going to look like? I'm gonna keep the experimental because I think that will look the best and generate. Ooh, I'm excited. Imagine I don't have to make a logo animation the old way. So let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish we could do this. Let's see if we can prompt it to really do it better. And I'll try with a black and white as well. So let's try to just go into Photoshop and make a black and white in case it just does the trap style transfer on its own drag the black and white in here and i'll even just delete the last part in case that is kind of messing it up add the black and white in here this time let's do render style please unfortunately that also did not work but i have one last trick up my sleeve we're gonna put the first ai andy the second ai andy and some other ones that i generated off camera like i'm some sort of cooking show now i'll just try to do the text prompt completely blank here changing between all these pictures i think experimental was the one that i liked the most and generate so here is the final result it wasn't able to create an ai logo but maybe i gave it an impossible task
If you find out how to do it, put it in the description down below. But we created some amazing picture switching animations that I really loved, as well as zoos just coming towards us. Thanks to Crea AI for making this amazing tool so we can animate diff a lot easier. If you want to spy on my personal life, check out my Instagram. Also on Twitter, I'm posting a lot more because it's quicker to show you AI tools earlier. And if you want a list of my favorite tools ranked by me, no bots, check out the link in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.